In an era when nation-state competition and high-tech warfare define the battlefield, the SR-72, codenamed Dark Star, emerges as a revolutionary response to America's strategic needs. Conceived by Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works division, Dark Star represents the next leap in combining unrivaled speed with devastating strike capability. Where once the Blackbird's Mach 3 Plus performance evaded defunct Cold War era radar, today's at 2 slash AD environments, bolstered by advances in missile defense and multi-layered network sensors from Russia, China, and others, demand a platform that transcends stealth alone. At Mach 6 Plus, double the speed of its predecessor, Dark Star exploits velocity and altitude to shorten exposure, compress decision timelines, and evade interception. Its optional unmanned design with AI-guided autonomy ensures no pilot risk and allows maneuvers beyond human tolerance. Dark Star's turbine-based combined cycle engine, melding a traditional turbine for takeoff and climb with a scramjet for sustained hypersonic cruise, marks a technical milestone. Derived in collaboration with Airjet Rocketdyne and tested since the early 2010s, this propulsion strategy aims to bypass the need for complex booster stages while delivering unmatched in-flight acceleration. The vehicle, projected to be roughly 90 feet long in demonstrator form and 100 plus feet for full-scale variants, would fly at stratospheric altitudes above 80,000 feet, altitudes and speeds that nullify conventional air defense responses. Dark Star isn't just a spy aircraft. According to Lockheed and independent analysts, it carries dual roles in reconnaissance and precision strike. Equipped with next-generation high-speed strike weapons, likely hypersonic missiles, it can detect, acquire, and obliterate critical targets with minimal notice. This makes it a potent tool to penetrate contested airspace and deliver decisive outcomes without mid-air confrontation. In theory, SR-72 could reach any global hotspot in under an hour, outrunning diplomatic games and bureaucratic delay, compressing time from detection to engagement for maximum impact. Equally vital is Dark Star's survivability. Rather than rely entirely on stealth coatings, which struggle under hypersonic heat, its main defense lies in speed, altitude, and minimal radar return during its narrow passage through enemy systems. Its thermal signature challenges are acknowledged. At Mach 6, infrared visibility skyrockets, and metal skin's face temperatures over 1,000 degrees Celsius. To address this, engineers are using composite materials akin to those in ICBMs or shuttle tiles, supplemented by active cooling in engine passages, solutions drawn from decades of hypersonic research. Despite this promise, critics argue Dark Star's development is risky and expensive. The U.S. military is balancing F-35 sustainment, B-21 Raider production, the NGAD slash F-47 programs, and drone investments. According to some analysts, hypersonic platforms might be less strategically coherent compared to distributed, attritable systems. They caution that modern interceptors, like Russian S-500, may still pose threats, and that signature and maneuverability concerns undercut Dark Star's core advantage. Yet Skunk Works continues to advance ambitiously, a prototype is expected by late 2025, with possible deployment in the early 2030s. The project's progress is supported by a web of evidence. Lockheed's dedicated yet scrubbed web pages, funding overruns cited in company reports, expanding hypersonic capable production facilities in Palmdale, and partnerships with landing gear manufacturers, all pointing to a serious, maturing program, not mere concept art. Its cinematic cameo in Top Gun, Maverick, Dark Star, may have been fictional, but Lockheed's involvement in designing that aircraft mock-up is itself a strategic maneuver, fueling public speculation about the real program. Why is Dark Star the answer to defeating U.S. adversaries? First, it erodes the core effectiveness of modern anti-access denial networks. With Russia and China investing heavily in multi-layer air defenses, missiles, and anti-stealth systems, stealth aircraft alone face increasing risk. An unstoppable hypersonic platform bypasses these defenses with speed, altering the calculus of regional deterrence. Second, its strategic equity is unmatched. The rapid delivery of ISR and strike payloads in contested theaters, without launching from forward bases or relying on satellite windows, creates deterrence of a new dimension. Third, its unmanned design and AI integration mean persistent global presence, deep penetration and rapid strike, all with minimal risk to personnel or platform loss. 
Dark Star also reinforces America's internal debate on future air power. With the Biden era focus on stealthy but attainable assets, the Trump-preferred F-47 program and now Dark Star champion high-end, high-risk slash high-reward platforms. If the F-47 offers next-gen fighter presence, Dark Star answers for hypersonic reach and decisive first strike potential. It redefines strategic posture. Instead of trading stealth for speed, it combines both at scales and speeds never before imagined. Some question whether speed remains decisive. But even as Russia fields S-500 and China builds layered defenses, few interceptors operate at Mach 6 at 80,000 feet interdiction windows for hypersonic aircraft close in seconds, leaving detection crews little to no time to respond. The aircraft's altitude gives it reach over national airspace, threatening command centers, missile arrays, and critical infrastructure within narrow but lethal timeframes. Its autonomy adds another layer, AI-assisted routing, dynamic targeting, and real-time decision loops surpass human reaction times. To maximize deterrence, Dark Star must integrate with multi-domain systems. It will feed sensor data into NATO and U.S. command networks, blend with U.S. satellite assets and drones, and serve as the eyes and fist of a global intelligence strike nexus. Its presence complicates adversary planning. The possibility of a Mach 6 strike from continents away forces recalibrations in SAM deployments, missile alert procedures, and even civil defensive postures. The timing aligns with the evolution in modern warfare. Just as Russia shifted to drone and cruise missile swarms in Ukraine, U.S. strategy must adapt. Surface platforms and stealth fighters are no longer enough. A hypersonic layer fills a gap, offering penetration where sea, air, and cyber intersect. The SR-72 Dark Star stands ready to counter China's anti-ship missile batteries in the Pacific, neutralize deep silo ICBMs in Eurasia, or surge over polar routes to preempt emerging threats, all within minutes, not hours. Whether Dark Star proceeds into production will depend on inter-service competition and budget choices. But even as skeptics question cost and relevance, the project provides insurance. A hedge weapon should stealth platforms face technological or logistical failure. Dark Star ensures the U.S. retains the capability to project power unilaterally, swiftly, and with deniability. In sum, the SR-72 Dark Star transcends the limitations of 20th century warfare. It isn't merely another spy plane, it is the embodiment of hypervelocity deterrence. It challenges adversaries not to match speed, but to rethink defense posture entirely. As long as it achieves operational status, Dark Star's presence will cast a strategic shadow, compelling enemies to adapt or risk being outpaced and outgunned. For those reasons, among many, the SR-72 stands as America's answer to defeating every current and emerging threat. If you'd like a deeper dive into any specific technical, strategic, or programmatic element, or to connect this to the earlier Ukraine-slash-Russia conflict notes, just say the word. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.